How's it going guys? Me, Davey here with another uh, shave video and today's going to be part of the pass around series. Now this is actually a really cool pass around for me because I actually have been wanting to try this shave soap. Um, before my presence on Facebook was, uh, you know, as active as I am now, I was much more involved in the shave community and Instagram. And even though yeah, you think it's social media and you know, what's the difference? <clears throat> Depending on whether you go on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, um, you'll see a different crowd of people. And one of the brands that I have been keeping an eye on on Instagram that hasn't, um, the older hasn't got involved in Facebook and all that stuff. I don't even know his name, but I have had a couple conversations through DM on Instagram. They seem like good dudes. And um, I don't know, I've, just been, I've been paying attention to their development of their shave soap. So today uh, we have... Knockout shave. Hopefully that uh that's in focus because God knows. Knockout shave, and this is their silver shaving soap. So um if you guys were watching earlier today, uh Chris Bailey actually just purchased this soap and he did a little mini review. Um just you know doing his whole lather mittens and face feel and all that good stuff, and it seemed to lather great. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm happy to see that it appears to if nothing else, it at least appears to be a good soap. So I'm going to try that out today. Um, knockout shave. Um, again, I've been friends with them. On, on, I've been following them on Instagram and vice versa. They follow me and my, uh, myself as well. So again, happy to do this one. So of course, I got my Nathan Clark Custom brush. Soaking. Go ahead and save the broom water into, in my scuttle and then I'll start with the load. Yeah, I'm really happy that uh, G.I. James started this one. I guess he's buddies with uh, the owner of Knockout Shave. I guess they do they do lunch and, and all that good stuff. So I'm really happy that this is part of the pass around. I've been wanting to use this for so long. It just, again, with all the stuff that comes out, and since I'm more active on Facebook probably than anything else right now, Stuff like this, my, my trusty friends over here on Instagram kind of, I want to say get forgotten about because I definitely don't forget about them, but other stuff kind of catches my eye uh, at the moment, you know. You never know when you're going to have money or you're going to have that itch to buy something. And um, since I'm on Facebook, more or less, the artisans that are on Facebook have a tendency to get my money first or at least before anybody else. Got the pre shit going. Totally forgotten about that. Got a little bit of moisture going. Going to a face leather. Also, guys, I've been meaning to ask you guys. I kind of want to step up my, my videos a little bit. I feel like I'm getting kind of uh, left behind the times, you know. I don't have an intro. I don't have any kind of video editing. Even though I won't go to... Man, this leather is really easy. Good job, Knockout Shave. Um, even though I won't go to a lot of editing, cutting out scenes, speeding up too much, um, I would like to like work on maybe developing an intro for myself. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it. It'll probably just end up being freaking Shave of the Day pictures and, and some text added to it, but... I need a good video editor on Android phones. I have the Galaxy Note 3, and I found a good one. It's called, I think, Keen Master, something like that. And it's cool. I like the features that it has. The turnoff for me is that it's a subscription. Uh, it's uh, either $4.99 a month or $49.99 for the whole year. Now, I don't mind paying for an app. I would pay $40 bucks right now for it, probably even the $50 bucks right now for it. But if I could use it infinitely, this whole subscription thing is just kind of a turnoff. And not that it's too much money. I could probably even handle the $4 a month or whatever. But it's more the principle of the thing. I really don't like the fact that they're charging for it um, subscription-wise. And again, I like the features. It's the first one that had a format in which I like to use. So if you guys have any good ideas for a video editor on the Android phones, let me know. And I don't have a computer that would have a Windows... Uh, 
was it Windows Movie Maker, which probably would be the easiest bet, but I just don't have a computer. So it just is what it is. So I gotta try to figure out how to do things on my phone. Oh, first pass, Boker King Cutter. Um. Sorry if you hear some noise in the wall. I'm um, washing clothes and the washing machine is directly on the other side of this wall to my restroom, so. See, that's the kind of mishaps I would like to be able to edit, you know? Maybe I'll throw some music on there and maybe this part I'll speed up just for the sake that you don't have to hear that mess. So, so far, nice first pass. Really nice scent. I like it. And look at I, I just realized what I forgot. I forgot to grab my aftershave. Which, since Chris Bailey said it's based on Creed Aventus, I'll go ahead and break out the fine platinum. Just for the record though, if you do get this soap, I think it will go really great with the Stallion as well. It's just my opinion, I could be wrong, you know, but I think it will smell really good with the Stallion aftershave as well, so. Something I've been lacking on is my stretching of the skin. I kind of have to cut that off. Again, with talking and for the sake of making the videos a little shorter, I kind of not cut corners, but I probably rush a little bit more. And actually, yeah, subsequently I cut a little bit of corners. Again, I should be stretching the skin more than I am, but yeah. hey, so hell of a first pass, knockout shave. Good stuff. And this stuff was really easy to load. Yeah, probably overloaded, but again, it's okay. We all have tons of product. So, really no point in skimping. My dogs are jumping on the bed. I just hope that the damn neighbor dogs don't start barking and get them all riled up. Because I'm home alone right now. So, my wife's not in there to keep them calm. Oh, they got to sneeze. Damn, it went away. Wait. Well, if I, if I sneeze, it'll just come. <sighs> Wait, I don't want to sneeze when I have a bait to my neck. Achoo! Oh, man. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. Oof. Money pass. Get down from there. Yeah, the, the the bigger one of the two, of course. He's the one that wants to 
crawl up and look at the window because you can hear the dog next door. So there's a window right above my bed or behind it above whatever and the and the blinds are like pretty much destroyed because this animal has to climb up there and try to look through them. Little does he know that he's not a poodle or you know like Leroy Jenkins a little dog. No he's a pit bull that probably weighs 70 plus pounds and you know 70 is on the lighter side and he's not a fat dog he's just solid he takes after his uh Actually, I was going to say he takes after his dad, but I just seen his mom the other day, and she's gigantic too. So, he just comes from just his genetics. They're just, they're just animals. They're huge. That water is getting on my nerves, so. Again, I apologize if you guys can hear it. There's a lot of soap left in this brush. The brush, these Nathan Clark knots are already dense, but with how much soap I have left over in this, this thing feels like super heavy. There's all kinds of soapy goodness going on right here. Demo, will you behave yourself? He looks at me like, what? So I'm sure Chris Bailey will get to this shave review soon but I'll give him a heads up yeah this is this is good stuff Chris Oh, I had a little, a little tear moment the other day. We we're just kind of uh, standing around, and um, kind of out of nowhere, my stepson goes, "Hey, man, we need another straight razor." And just I was like, "Oh, dear." I'm like, "Have no fear. We have straight razors coming this month." My Wade and Butcher Bolt Razor should be here uh, uh, next week. After that, I, I do believe I'm, buy, I'm buying a used Boker Edelweiss. And then on top of that, 
my boy Roberto is giving me a killer deal on one of my dream razors. Again, you guys heard about the double duck before. That was one of my dream razors. There's two razors that were on my dream list. A Philharmonica and the double duck. I got the double duck gold edge. Now he's giving me a hell of a deal on a Philharmonica that he's restoring himself. So it does mean a lot to me. He's a nice guy. I'm going to be proud to have a razor restored by him. And these three razors coming next month will probably be, and, I'm, and I am serious with this, when, I, when it comes to spending that kind of money on razors, I'm good with not going overboard. So that'll be the end of my, my straight razor acquisitions for the year, unless something crazy, like a crazy deal comes up. Like so last year, I, I got, that's when I got that bow razor. And I got the bow razor for a, a ridiculous price. And it was like pretty much already restored. It didn't need anything. Yeah, I got it for 35 bucks, just the blade by itself. So pretty much I'm just paying to get it polished up, honed, and put some scales on it. So that one, I think the total investment on that is going to be like dirt cheap. Um, you know, I don't discuss prices uh, for the restore, um, but for the scaling, because that's just not my place to put, be putting out a... Uh, uh, silver those prices like that, but it's a very acceptable investment for that beautiful razor Then the the Edelweiss I'm gonna get it for about a hundred bucks that one was on the buy sell trade So that was pretty wide out there wide open out there and The Philharmonica again, I'm not gonna discuss prices, but just when I tell you because you see these You see those Philharmonicas go for three four five hundred bucks for this size and probably similar um, quality um, in terms of um, how you beat up it is excellent condition really excellent condition so um, these I got because they're all just excellent excellent deals um, unless some something crazy that that happens one second unless a crazy like deal like that comes up uh, then maybe but yeah I'm pretty much done for the year Man, that square, that square bottle, that square, this square bottle, uh, uh, platinum is still one of my favorite aftershaves, man. It's just so damn good. The amount of menthol just, again, it just, it's something special to me. Like the American blend smells great, but it's the newer one and it's just not the same. So, hmm. So, a hey, excellent shave. Uh, one more time is going to be knockout shaves. Silver. Excellent product. I look forward to buying my own tub now. It's confirmed. I will be getting my own. And um, hey, this is just good stuff. So, hey, J Jamming J.I. James, excellent contribution to the past rounds, brother. Um, I will catch you guys soon. Hey, SoSharpLimited.com. Uh, sign up for the newsletter. Full launch is going to be 22nd. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.